Hey Visant here, in this video we're actually going to look up the abilities for Dracovish, Dracovolt, Arctozolt, and Arctovish. Alright, so the hidden abilities for the Dracos. Sand Rush. Sand Rush is speed is double within the standstill. Um, for Arctozolt and Arctovish, the Arctos. Has slush rush, which is double their speed in tail. All right, so the only way to get it then 197, and the race for shield and sword are a, a bit different, kind of like swap ish for some parts. So here we have for sword, Arts is 20 percent star, and then Draco is 20 percent for three star and 30 percent for four star. But in shield, um, we have Arctivish 20. Right, and then Draco Vish is for three star and thirty percent for four star. And we get up to here back to sword, right? We have Draco Vish seven percent and Draco Vish ten percent. Draco Zolt is thirty percent for five star. But when you go to shield, is the opposite. They swap those. Draco Zolt for seven percent for four star, and then. 10% for a 5 star, and then Dracofish has 30%. Then on shield, you have Draco 30% for 4 star and 30% for 5 star. Arctozol is 7% for 4 star and 10% for 5 star. And then you go to sword, right? Swap them around. Arctozol has 30% for 4 star, 30% for 5 star, and Arctofish has 7% for 4 star and 10%. All right, so this den is actually in a weird place. It's a pretty decent long track with like a lot of curves and stuff. So try to pay attention here. Um, you want the crown? I'm gonna show you guys from the crown shrine, um, which is at the top here, this waypoint. Um, so you want a purple beam? Den 197 is a purple beam. You're gonna fly from here. All right, you're gonna turn around. We're gonna go back into the cave to the path to the peak. Right, we're gonna go around here. Dodge all these mons if you can. Yeah, we're in the we're in the tunnel to the top now, right? Okay. Careful. And you're gonna go you're gonna go to the left area here and then down, right? So uh, let me repeat this. So you come down here, right? Usually you come from that area, right? But then you're gonna go to the left side. Come down. And then there's another path right here, you keep going down. And go left into this cave. The outside. Uh, curve into this little area over here. Go back into the cave. Continue along here. Got Salamence, go away. This will bring you back outside and you'll be back over here on this side. No slide slope. So you want a purple beam here, right? So you're gonna save in front of it first. And then you're gonna press talk to it, press yes here, and then one on the save part, get ready to press the home button. You hit yes, hit the home button if it's red like so. You close the game, restart, you do it again, and you keep doing it until you get a purple beam. We'll do the other part later. Alright, so here we are. It lagged a little bit, so then it's a purple beam. Here we go. And now we go whatever Pokemon you're looking for, right? Uh, if that's not the one you're looking for, you do the time skip trick. You go click invite others. Make sure you're offline so you don't make fake rooms. Press home. Go to some settings. Them date time. If you have to on, turn it off. Increase your date by one day. Go back into the game. Oh god. And then quit the room. That should reset the den. Right? And then you can get a new mod. You get almost star. But that's not what we're looking for. So uh, let's do this again real quick just to go over. Go to the system settings. Out of all the rates, I got an almost star, huh? Day by one day. Quit. Aerodactyl, okay. 
Uh, we'll just fight a random one of these. Alright, so we have a Draco Fish here. I'm gonna switch to a Fairy type, but also with a Tracer. Uh, bring a Tracer. Level 100 shouldn't be too hard, right? If you're level 100. Uh, I'm just gonna do this by myself since I'm offline. You do it, friends. But I just want to bring the Tracer to show you guys that as a purple beam for the DLC, it's guaranteed to be a hidden ability. So it should be Sand Rush, by the way. And then we're just gonna hit it with fairy moves. Bam! Gonna Dynamax. It's a 5 star that I have here, but uh, Dynamax. Super effective. Oh, someone's doing a status. Is this Togepi doing a helping hand or something? Activate them shields. But yeah, lately I've been doing a lot of Genshin Impact stuff. So if you guys like Genshin Impact, feel free to follow my stream and whatnot. Also, if you need any Pokemon to trade, uh, you can redeem it on my stream as well. Then, anything that's breedable, okay? These aren't breedable. I can't help you with this. You're gonna have to. We can do this then, I guess. Or you can go. You should actually go do this then yourself. Because most likely I'll be playing Genshin. <laughs> Come on, knock down them shields. Come on. Dare you. Well, what a waste. Kind of a waste because there's only one bar. Bring up the shields back up. You guys can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shield up, shield up, shield up. Hopefully Togepi doesn't attack. I don't know. I didn't look at the top left. Also, if you guys play Stream Raiders, right above over there, you see Stream Raiders. I do Stream Raiders on stream too, so feel free to drop by. It's a freaking, it's a browser game, so. If you play it. I do this every time I'm live on stream, pretty much. I do again? Okay. <sighs> sure. Yes. B was getting damaged. B file was getting damaged. That's fine. I knock out the bars anyway. I also got the merch store. If you like, if you guys like this, then if you go to my stream, you can say exclamation mark merch. By the way, all right. Since I am host, I'm pretty much guaranteed to catch this. So I'm just gonna throw a luxury ball, and then we'll see it shake three times, and that'll be the end of the video, right? But yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, comment whatever I do next. I'll probably do like probably Kaputop and Oma Star next. And my socials down below. Uh, have any questions? Leave comments. Come by the stream, whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. And with that, later days.